My name is Muse Kiabuano Senior Muanae Jomo Kinata. Record that. Will you please? Right? <laughs> I take it however you want on that. At that. <laughs> British. When bad people at all. No bad people. They educated that much. Education is number one thing. The British did well to educate them, and they took part in development because they started doing railway from uh, coast to even Uganda. British had taken part of developing Kenya, and British were most strong people, and are still even today they are most strong nation I know of. Not that because I'm on them as a British subject of Kenyan or Asian. <laughs> and the Asians and our people came into Kenya and the Asians were making railways and saying this word, Halam Bay, Halam Bay, Halam Bay, Halam Bay, Halam Bay. Halam Bay, Halam Bay, Halam Bay. We have uh, the ticket people selling tickets to the commuters. They are paid salary, but they are, but they are, they are required to bring in more money. Can you sister? All the people come at the same time, so most of them will not be able to be sold a ticket. They are selling tickets in uh, an orderly way, but then uh, the people will they feel they are being delayed. They cra they get crushed, and because they are they want to the train will leave them. So they came out with a system of lining up and then giving the tickets, which is an efficient way. Uh, let's say most of the people actually like the vintage and they come here because of the, the vintage and that uh, ancient thing, that's what they come to exploit. Africa art group. Kumbuka means remember or sort of history. So we are based in history and we actually saw that the beginning of history of the of, of the of the region, particularly Nairobi, starts with the railway station and we came here. When in, in 1896 when the railway they started building the railway, there was no Kenya and uh, Kenya was actually known as British East Africa without a name. But we had Uganda, we had Tanganyika, we didn't have Kenya. They didn't have any intention of the region because their destination was Uganda. Which, that's why it was known as Uganda Railway, heading to Uganda. But when, as, they, as they were building, they were able to see uh, the potential of the area they are passing. And they saw that uh, the area can this, they can put up sisal plantations, coffee plantations, tea and pineapple plantations, and also cattle ranches and the area became even more better than where they were going. Yeah. We, we have people actually coming uh, from Europe, mainly the people who actually are rail fanatics. We have the English people, Germans, French, uh, we also have uh, the 
Czechs, we also have uh, the Austrians, we also have, uh, like, uh, let's say we have commuter services, where actually most of the workers are going back to the suburb areas, and they feel the railways are better, because the, the railway, the train is not being held up by any traffic jam, and though it's slow, it will be able to get there earlier. And you know, commuter trains were introduced sometimes in the 1980s. They were not there before. And slowly, slowly, we'll be able to catch up and be able to put up a good way of serving everybody, including the one who is actually bottom of the society. We want to serve everybody yeah. nicely and better.
Good friend, friend Stuart. Can I have your tickets? Uh, the day? Ticket, you have in dinner? Okay. Can I have
Okay. Another question. Can I repeat all you do? Have you heard that too? Very yeah. yeah, well. Muse Kiambuano Senior Muanae Jomo Tinato. Salute. Thank you very much. Ask me any other question.